One of the quickest ways to build any business is to utilize the power of Google. So today we're going to be using Google AdWords to promote one of my business ideas, which is quote logic. Sometimes it can be a little confusing, so hopefully this will make it simple for all of you to do. Hey guys, so in the last video we actually set up a landing page with Instapage and it was for a company called Quote Logic, which is a new idea that I had to offer a subscription-based software development uh, service uh, specifically for custom quotes, work orders, and contracts. Uh, we've been getting a lot of requests for this, so this is kind of the idea I came up with to kind of transition my web development business into more of a passive income, residual income based business. So today what we're going to do is actually set up a Google AdWords account and do some ads to actually see if there's any interest for this particular service. So first off, if you don't have a Google AdWords account, please look in the description below. Uh, there'll be some information there on how you can get one. And uh, otherwise, let's get started. So the first off, here is the landing page that was created. Uh, and if you want more information on how to create this landing page, just uh, go back one video and uh, you can do that tutorial. But basically the first thing we want to do is do what's called the, the keyword planning. So it's the Google Keyword Planner. So let me just do a search for this. So Google Keyword Planner is the first thing we want to do. So with this tool we can actually, uh, and if you have an AdWords account you should be able to log into the system. But what we're going to do for this uh, tool is actually see what people are searching for how many people are actually searching for it to see um, you know, how we're going to target these ads. So first we'll do find new keywords. Okay, so we'll enter a phrase. So you know, if I were to search for um, quote logics as services, I would say proposal software would be one. Maybe proposal generator. Um, I don't want to say quote uh, because you know quote kind of gets mixed up with like you know actual like famous quotes and things like that uh, and there's quote generators for like Instagram and things like that so I want to stay away from that word so proposal software proposal generator this is probably the way we want to go so let's just start with those two and click get started okay so it will give us some ideas for different types of uh, word, uh, search terms that we can use so it looks like average monthly searches, 10 for proposal software, 10 for proposal generator. Um, not too many monthly searches. It could also be because of the targeting. So let's take a look at the locations. So right now, yeah, since the last time I used it, it was targeting just in Corona. So just in Corona, there's 10 searches. So that's actually not too bad, I would say. Uh, let's just do California to start. So there's 46 million people in California that we're going to be targeting. So just to see what kind of interest there is locally. Okay, so it looks like it's targeting California. So let's just go back to our keyword ideas. And now you can see that there's a lot more searches. So the first one, proposal software, has 140 monthly searches. Proposal generator, not too much. Paper. Paperless proposal, so that's a good keyword that I didn't really even think about. Newsy, I don't, I don't even know what that is. Maybe it's another company that does it. So I could just click some of these key terms just so I can remember. Uh, proposal software, proposal generator, paperless proposal, software de development proposal, um, let's see, proposal management software, best proposal software as a search, um, proposal writing software. Software development proposal. Let me expand this so I can actually see what the whole thing is. Example. Uh, we don't want the example. All right. There we go. There's a lot more searches. So let me uh, organize them by average monthly searches. Okay. So it looks like all the rest of them just have a few. So I think we're good on those. Um, just to start, that's fine. So we'll have we have these three: paperless proposal, proposal generator, proposal software, 
digital proposal software, um, business proposal generator. That looks pretty good. Um, okay, we'll do that. Let's take a look at the next one. Open source, that's not really what we're doing. Proposal writing software, that looks pretty good. But you can see that it has more a higher amount of competition, which means there's a lot of other companies targeting the same keywords. Business proposal software, same thing. Um, and that's kind of what you want to actually look for too. Uh, if the competition is high, that means that's the type of keywords that actually convert. Uh, because if other people are not spending money on those keywords, then you kind of have to think, why not? Uh, everybody has access to these same tools. A lot of these companies have millions of dollars to spend on advertising, so they're doing their research up front. So a lot of times, you know, you may think that if it's uh, competition is low, that's a good one to target. Sometimes it, it is. Sometimes it's uh, oversight on the part of your competition. Uh, but most likely, the ones that have higher competition are ones that have been proven to convert over time. So you just want to remember that. Bid and proposal management software. That looks pretty good. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. Okay, so so far we got a good group of keywords here. So let's take a look at our plan. Plan is empty. Did I not add them? Let's try this again. Proposal software, proposal generator, paperless proposal, software development proposal. Okay. And let's click add to plan. So forgot to click that the first time. We'll go. We'll add this one, add to plan, go to the next page. The tool, sales proposal, online proposal, business proposal. I think this is good. So we'll add these and then we're good. So now we actually could take a look at our keywords that we selected. And we could they they'll basically do an estimation of how much it would cost you, uh, and how many clicks that you would get. So, let's see. Okay, this one's really expensive, twelve dollars a click, but a lot more impressions. So this is where we're going to see a lot of uh, traction. Okay, so basically we can from here we can actually add them to an ad group, but uh, I like to not do things the automated way through Google Ads. I kind of like to do it manually because there's certain things that I want to select. Um, just keep in mind that anytime that you deal with, with Google, that their sole interest is to get more people to click. It's, you know, it's kind of regardless on the conversion. So that means that you, know, you get in front of more people, but really what matters to you and your business is how many of those people actually convert to a customer. So in their interest, they want to make more money, but by helping you, uh, what they're doing is to get you in front of more people, but it's not necessarily might not be the right people. So a lot of times I do things kind of manually. So let's kind of get in there and try to do that. So first you got to get into your Google AdWords account. This is an account that I use, um, and we're going to try to create a new campaign, and we'll call this one. Uh, and we're going to actually do this as a search campaign. So they want to know what it's going to be for. As you know, I want to do it for sales. I'm looking for website visits. The website business is www.coatlogic.co. Okay. Campaign name. I'll just call this Quote Logic. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So search network, display network. Um, so include Google search partners. So if you already have an optimized campaign, you want to get it out there to more um, places. So this is basically not on Google search itself, but it's, it's actually on partner websites. And the same with the display network. So display network are basically people who are using Google AdSense, you know, the advertisements pop up on their websites, things like that. When we're doing a test, I, I, at this point for this campaign, I only want people who are searching for the service through Google. So I'm going to take these networks off. It'll save us a lot of money because the conversion from a Google search 
is uh, a lot better. And the reason for that is Google is kind of like the new Yellow Pages. When somebody's looking for something, they go to Google first and kind of, uh, since they're already purchased ready because they need that service, this is where you're gonna see the results. On a search network, sometimes it's more like a commercial ad. So they see an advertisement about your product or service and think, oh, maybe I can use that and then look at it. So it's not necessarily that they're ready at that moment um, to use your products or services because they weren't actively searching for it. It was just something that was kind of put, put in their attention. So later on, it's good for branding. It's good to grow your business. But initially, if you're trying to just make sales and get leads, I would suggest using only Google itself. So we'll target, um, right now it says United States. I want to target a smaller area um, just for the testing. So I'm going to go to advanced search. Okay, I want to do a radius. So I want to just choose um, basically my location right now. Uh, initially, we can make this a nationwide product, but I want to do this because initially I need to kind of get a lot more feedback. So if I meet with people, if I um, work with people that are local, I can do that a lot easier. So I can change this radius uh, to maybe about 30 miles. So we'll do that to start. And as you can see, if you know anything about California, the really big selling areas are more in, in Los Angeles, so we're not even hitting that yet. So basically I want to just target this surrounding area. Once we get some traction, once we kind of get our process going, uh, we can expand. Uh, and once we get the process going, we could do a lot of things like remotely. We could do things with uh, video, you know, through the computer. We could do things, you know, over the phone. But initially to kind of set up how we want this to work, it would be better face-to-face. So languages, English, that looks good. Select audiences, uh, we don't need to deal with that right now. The budget, how much do I want to spend each day to test this? Um, I want to just see kind of uh, results pretty quickly. So I'm just going to say um, $100 a day. It's not necessarily that it's even going to hit $100 a day. Uh, I'm, I, you know, if it does, then I'll probably scale it back or turn it off. But just I just want to see you know, what type of uh, companies are going to be reaching out to me. So bidding based on clicks. So every time, basically, um, you set a bid every time somebody clicks on it you get charged that amount so the maximum as we can see uh, if we went go back to the keyword tool that the, the very um, uh, the most popular search term which is proposal software was getting about twelve dollars per click which is quite a bit so I know a lot of people will be scared that you know every time somebody clicks on it you're being billed twelve dollars but if you look at it from a perspective of, of a business, so say for example, we were to get a client that's going to be spending you know two hundred dollars a month on this service, you know, um, and they're going to be doing it for the next four years, spending you know a hundred dollars to get that lead is worth it. So you really got to kind of take a look at your business model to see how much you can spend to acquire a client. Um, so I'll say fifteen dollars because I, I want to make sure that I'm shown on the first page. I, I'm going to outbid some of them initially. Okay, so bidding strategy is, we can just keep it as a default. Ad schedule, um, you know, initially since we have the live chat and initially we have, um, um, I'm thinking about putting a phone number on there, I'm not sure, I might set that up, probably will, um, but so in that case, I just want these to show during business hours. Um, you know, times that I can actually answer or somebody can answer. So we'll do 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, I don't want to get too crazy. Um, as we start getting some traction and get some customers, I can extend that to just start showing all the time. But we want to keep the budget small, so we want to target the best possible um, people that can convert. So we'll do that. Ad rotation. Ad rotation is good. We can put multiple ads up there, and it'll just show the best performing ads. So we want to keep that. Site link extensions, call out, call extensions, we'll do this later. So basically what this is, is we can actually add portions to the website uh, that we want to focus on. Since it's a landing page, we don't really have any more links. Call outs, uh, you know, the call extension is good. We can add a phone number so people don't even have to click on your ad. They could just call the number, uh, but we don't have a number yet, so we'll skip that for now. So we'll go ahead and go to the next step. Um, oh, it says, oh, okay, so I needed to set this to PM apparently. Oh, it's in military time, so that would be 1,900 hours. Okay. Go ahead and save that. 
Okay, so now it wants us to create an ad group. So the different types of ad groups, standard, dynamic, we'll just do standard for now. Ad group name will be, I'll just say local, local businesses and the keyword. So now what I'm going to do is I'll take a look at these keywords. Uh, and the thing is, if you use this tool to automatically add to your campaign, they'll add the, these as is. But what I want to do is make a slight change on there. So the one that we want to target for sure is proposal software. So, but I'm going to put it in quotes. So what happens is uh, there's uh, a few different types of matches. One is broad match, phrase match, and exact match. So in broad match, that's without the quotes. Basically, Google will try to use its own brain to figure out what people are searching for. So if somebody is searching for proposal software, uh, it's going to look at any kind of related keyword. So it may be like quote software, things like that, um, you know, quote programs. It'll come up. Your ad will still come up because it's based on that. But the problem with that is sometimes it's going to um, include things that you don't want. So maybe it's somebody, for example, is saying like uh, uh, Salesforce proposal software. So they're searching for that and your ad's gonna come up and they might accidentally click that thinking that you are selling a Salesforce product. So, uh, you know, just I wanna make sure it gets a little bit more um, narrowed down. Exact match, we actually put in brackets. So it would look like this. And then that means it has to be exactly proposal software um, that people are looking for, um, which we can try initially. But usually, uh, you know, Google's actually changed their algorithm a little bit. Before, it was very strict. Like, it had to be exactly what you typed into the brackets. But now I notice that it's a little more relaxed. Uh, same with the phrase match. I just do this because I want to try to narrow it down as much as possible. So proposal software would do that. We'll do business proposal software. Uh, we also have online proposal software. I'll do custom. Because we provide a custom solution. Um, proposal writing software, sales proposal software, software development proposal. So the problem with software development proposal is maybe people are looking for actual samples of proposals for a software development company. So that might get a little confusing. So we could do proposal software, business proposal software, online proposal software, custom proposal software. Uh, this looks like it's good to kind of get us started. So we'll we'll do this. So we want to create our new ad group. Um, well, let's do one ad group for now. So save and continue. This is fine. So now we want to create an ad. So the final URL that we're dealing with is our quotelogic.co. The headline is basically the first line that we that you see up here. So custom custom proposal software. Um, basically, it's you want to make sure that you kind of use the keywords in the main headline. It's going to give you a little bit more credit for that. Um, as far as like. Um, they have actually what's called a, like a, a ranking system in Google. So basically, the better match that your ad has versus the keywords that people are searching for um, is one of the criteria is you know kind of having the keywords in the actual ad itself. So just make sure that in the headline that it kind of relates to the keywords that you're searching. So custom proposal software. Um, let's see. Maybe automated. Um, Automated systems. We'll say that. No, we don't have enough. We'll just put automated systems. Custom proposal software, automated systems. This is good for just one ad. And um, I want to make sure that you guys understand in this tutorial, we're just going to create one ad. But I'm going to be probably creating 
three or four different ads and do A-B split testing, that and also the landing page. So it'll, it'll go back and forth between different ad groups to see which one performs better, different copy on the website to see which one performs better. So that way you want to actively monitor you know, what's going on in your AdWords account to kind of figure out what's working and what's not. Uh, typically what you do is you uh, run it for a little while and the, the, per, the ones that are not performing well, you delete them or pause them and then you create another variant uh, based on the ones that are working and keep A-B testing all the time so you can, you're always uh, increasing the likelihood that you can have a better ad. So headline number three, it's new, okay. So we'll say, um, built at the speed of light. I, li I like that, you know, that's kind of our tagline in the, um, in the landing page as well. Display path, uh, just the main display is fine. Um, and we'll put um, custom software development. And we have a little more room here, uh, 90 characters. Um, at, well, I was gonna say at affordable rates, but I'll just put the actual price starting at $99 a month. So they know it's very affordable. Description number two, another 90 uh, word. I'll just put mobile, we'll do it the same as the website. So cloud, mobile, and desktop systems. So you can see the ad. So basically custom proposal software automated system. So if they're searching for proposal software, they know that's what we do. Built at the speed of light, giving them that idea, hey, it's going to be a quick, easy process. And then the description, knowing uh, what we do and that they can afford it, custom software development starting at $99 a month. And then what, you know, what kind of platforms it could be applied to, cloud, mobile, tablet, and desktop systems. So that looks pretty good. So we'll click done. Uh, number two, I don't want a number two. Let's see. Sorry about the clicks. Do cancel. Save and continue. Confirmation. So $100 a day. Uh, maximize click. Sales. Continue to campaign. All right. So we have our um, local businesses ad group created with our different ads uh, targeting these keywords. Okay. And this is our ad that we just created. It's under review. It's going to take a little while for Google to make sure that what we're doing is legitimate. Uh, they're going to check out the website, check out the, the keywords, make sure we're not breaking any rules. Once they give us the go ahead, it's going to be live. And then people who are searching within a 30 mile radius of Corona uh, will hopefully see our ad. So in later videos, I'll actually show the results of what we did uh, with this campaign. I probably want to let it run for at least a few weeks, uh, but I can let you know how many leads we got, you know, if I closed any of those leads. You know, and how it's working, how I had to manipulate it and change it to make it work. So until then, I'll see you guys on the channel. Thanks a lot.